going to do a sweep of a stock 1022 Ruger bolt. I have a bolt set up in a precision vise, flat, parallel, as if it were in firing position. This is a tense indicator. Each number on the dial indicates one thousandth of an inch. And that is divided into tenths. So as you move, for instance, from zero to one, you can see by the ten thousandths of an inch the amount of difference in the surface of the bolt. I'm going to start on one side of the bolt. I'm on one side of the firing pin. I'll enter onto the surface and you can see where the gauge reads. Now I'm going to exit and I'm going to re-enter and you can see the repeatability. So I'm going to sweep the length of the bolt going to stop at the charging handle groove right there. You can see it's about um, almost two thousandths of an inch difference from one side to the other. Let's go back and I'll stop where I entered and you can see uh, where the dial stops and let's exit. We'll go over to the other side of the firing pin and enter. It should go right to the zero. I've been doing this. Okay, right there. A little more. So that's about uh, three ten thousandths over zero. Let's exit and enter again. Okay, there it goes. I, you know, actually when you don't apply pressure evenly and things like that, when you're measuring this precisely, it, it makes a difference. So I'm going to sweep the length of the bolt on the other side of the firing pin. I'm at the charging handle groove now. and Let's back up. And that's the exit point. It's right there at about the zero. And off we go. That, that shows you the difference in in the the thickness of the bolt it's, it's actually not bad two thousandths uh, over the, the the length of the bolt on the uh, m measurable flat surface okay this is a slightly different sweep setup I now have the bolt laying on its side and we're going to check the um, the precision of the this is a stock bolt again over uh, this side of the bolt. Now this is a um, this indicator is a little different. It uh, it only reads out in increments of five ten thousandths of an inch, which would be half of one thousandths of an inch. It's a pretty accurate indicator. You can see where the dial is. Um, I have it uh, zeroed here for uh, it's actually at the um, at the bottom the six o'clock position but it goes uh, if 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 it rises it'll go clockwise and if the plane drops it'll go counterclockwise when I set it up on my surface plate and I enter at the charging handle groove it uh, pretty much goes almost to the 15 which I consider the zero point so let's exit We enter again, and you can see that uh, we're back to the 15, uh, right on the nose. That's what's been happening. So we'll sweep this way, and we get a difference of about uh, two thousandths. And we'll sweep back the other way. And at the end of the bolt, we uh, we only have a difference of half of one thousandths, five ten thousandths. So that's a pretty good pretty good sweep. We'll go back to here, that's the enter point, and see right back to the 15, so that's your repeatability. Let's go off, flip it over. The, the, the bolt isn't actually precise, it does rock just a little bit, but, but not much. It's, uh, it's been pretty accurate, I've been playing around with it. So let's 
enter here and you can see it goes right about to the six o'clock position again five five ten thousandths uh, off the uh, uh, dead six o'clock position we'll sweep the bolt okay we're getting a little bit of an increase in the uh, now it's going back down so we're back down to exactly the six o'clock position it seems we have a high spot right here behind the charging handle but I would say that that's pretty darn precise and then again back again off we go back on we go and you can see I have my repeatability and this is to five ten thousandths of an inch so it's half of one one thousandths it's pretty good so anyway um, you know I hope you enjoyed that I'm always uh, railing about people quantifying changes so I just uh, wanted to show that I'm setting up to quantify my changes when I do something I'm going to actually I was uh, playing around I, I, I faced the bolt but it's a very difficult setup to to get it perfectly parallel so that uh, you know if you're using any of the uh, gauges that it's um, going to give you an ac accurate depth reading across the face of the bolt. I want to uh, eventually, when I, when I get the setup that I like, I want to know on every square millimeter of this bolt face exactly um, what the height is or how it relates the, uh, you know, the, the evenness of the plane for what it's worth. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, this is a slightly different sweep setup. I now have the bolt laying on its side and we're going to check the, um, the precision of the, this is a stock bolt again, over uh, this side of the bolt. Now this is a, um, this indicator is a little different. It, uh, it only reads out in increments of five ten thousandths of an inch, which would be half of one thousandths of an inch. It's a pretty accurate indicator. You can see where the dial is. Um, I have it uh, zeroed here for uh, it's actually at the um, at the bottom the six o'clock position but it goes uh, if 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 it rises it'll go clockwise and if the plane drops it'll go counterclockwise but when I set it up on my surface plate and I enter at the charging handle groove it uh, pretty much goes almost to the 15 which I consider the zero point so let's exit we enter again and you can see that uh, we're back to the 15 uh, right on the nose that's what's been happening so we'll sweep this way and we get a difference of about uh, two thousandths and we'll sweep back the other way and at the end of the bolt we uh, we only have a difference of half of one thousandths five ten thousandths so that's a pretty good pretty good sweep We'll go back to here, that's the enter point, and see right back to the 15, so that's your repeatability. Let's go off, flip it over. The, the, the bolt isn't actually precise, it does rock just a little bit, but, but not much. It's, uh, it's been pretty accurate, I've been playing around with it. So let's, let's enter here, and you can see it goes right about to the 6 o'clock position again, five, five ten thousandths. Uh, off the uh, uh, dead six o'clock position. We'll sweep the bolt. Okay, we're getting a little bit of an increase in the, uh, now it's going back down. So we're back down to exactly the six o'clock position. It seems we have a high spot right here behind the charging handle, but I would say that that's pretty darn precise. And then again, back again, off we go back on we go and you can see I have my repeatability and this is to five ten thousandths of an inch so it's half of one one thousandths it's pretty good so anyway um, you know I hope you enjoyed that I'm always uh, railing about people quantifying changes so I just uh, wanted to show that I'm setting up to quantify my changes